Hey, what's happening guys? What I've got for you today is a really neat little circuit. It is simply a single button toggle circuit. How easy is that? Pretty cool, huh? So what we've got here is a tack switch, capacitor. These are 10K resistors making a little voltage divider here. And this guy, well, you got to know what that is. It's a 555 timer. Nothing to it but to do it. We're taking the output of the switch going into a pin 6 and pin 2, our threshold and trigger pins. The output is going over here. It's currently syncing. Just going through a 330 ohm resistor to the LED. And it just makes stuff so much fun and simple. And you got, there you go. <laughs> A single button. Why is it not working? There we go. That's just pretty cool. So let's get that out of the way and I'll show you the circuit. It's really simple. This is probably about one of the simplest ways you could set up a 555 timer completely. All right, so here's our circuit. This is our VCC. In this case, it's plus 5 volts DC. And there's our ground. So let's start by drawing in our 555 timer. We're not going to be using many of the pins at all. Pin 8 and pin 4, which is our VCC and our reset pin. And both of those are going to get tied high, of course. Pin 1, our ground pin, is going to go low. Pin 5, which is our control voltage, is not connected. The same with pin 7. It is another not connected. And then pin 6... And pin 2, they're going to be connected over here to our switch. Then simply our output, pin 3, in this case we're sending it to a resistor. And then we have a diode, in this case it's an LED. You could easily substitute a transistor here or a relay, whatever you want. We simply use the LED just to show what's going on. 330 ohm. Oops. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to take two 10K resistors. And we're going to whip up a uh, little voltage divider here. And it is from that voltage divider that we're going to feed this. So what you see we have is our 555 is going to be hanging on. These are 10K. So right here at this node, we're going to be just about 2.5 volts. Okay. So then we're going to take another resistor. In this case, it's going to be 100K just to keep things calm. And then a capacitor, one microfarad, something like that. And then we're going to put our switch right here, just like that. So when we press the switch, we're just simply flipping and flopping that latch that's inside the 555 timer. And just like that, oh, sorry, I'm always bumping the damn camera. Boom, Bob's your uncle, you're off, you're on, <laughs> there it goes. The, the reason you got a little delay there is that capacitor charging and discharging, so one microfarad, so it's a little, yes, you know, a little juicy capacitor. 
All right, guys, that's it. A classic circuit. I hope you, I mean, a classic circuit that you should know, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching and making this possible. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys. All right? That's it. I'm out. Peace. What do you think, doglies? Should we go inside and make a movie? No? We should hang out? Whatever you say. We'll just sit on the porch for a while then. <laughs>